done in beautiful glacier white paint and parchment beige interior. The 2024 Audi A3 has a great seating position. It also has handsome styling and a fuel efficient powertrain. And we're gonna talk about it here today. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video where we have the 2024 Audi A3 sedan in a glacier white styling with parchment beige interior. Not a combo we see too often. And I want to show it off here for the 2024 model year to let you know that you can get into these cars. This is a very affordable spec. We have some options on it to give it some extra luxury and technology, but these are Audis that you will rip, but these, but this is where you want to start when it comes to the A3. So with that said, let's go over all the options, features, break down the sticker price, cargo, fuel economy, everything that the A3 has to offer for your practical Audi sedan for the 2024 model year. And of course, big shout out to Audi Lakeland here in Florida. Make sure you guys check the links in the description for their website and phone number so you guys can get one of these beautiful Audis in your garage today. Now let's mention dimensions for this front engine A340 TFSI Quattro because with this all-wheel drive you're looking at a wheelbase of 103.5 inches with a length of 176.9 inches, a width of 71.5 inches, and a height of 56.2 inches with a curb weight of 3,509 pounds. Now let's talk about this Glacier White A340 TFSI Quattro because up front you guys will see that it's typical Audi when it comes to styling, which is very sharp, very aggressive lines, but very technological. As you guys can see, the laser LED lights are definitely the ones that are causing a lot of ruckus here because look at how sharp and clean those look. I can't wait to see those illuminated. We will see them shortly. Those look fantastic. Now, next thing you'll notice is the Audi rings done in the chrome look right here with the gloss black finish right there in the center and then the functional grill at the top at the bottom also with our sensor right there in the middle now surrounding that is the chrome outline that matches with those rings and then for the side profile you have the aluminum side blades with the fox honeycomb grill here and just some styling with this glacier white bodywork and then the aluminum crosses all the way through the front lip so then you see that all together and it meshes in very well. Everything ties in together. And again, very Audi-esque when it comes to a luxury feel. Now, when it comes to the side profile, you can't deny the 17-inch five-arm wheels right here wrapped with all-season tires and the Audi rings right in the center. Now, with that said, coming along with this spec, complete glacier white, the side skirt, the door handles, and the mirror caps with the luxurious chrome around the window moldings here and then gloss for the B-pillar here. Now you also see we do have a big glass roof up top and a black shark fin antenna for a lot of symmetry when it comes to this entire spec and the overall look. Very good spec when it comes to just classy, simple, and very A3. Now the rear profile gives us that same feel, very sleek, but at the same time, it's got those nice curvature lines to it that gives it a sport feel without necessarily trying. Now you can see, those Audi rings are in chrome, just like up front. We also have the A3 badge done in chrome as well, and Quattro letting you know this is an all-wheel drive. LED tails done in red. Again, we'll see those illuminated shortly. And then at the bottom, you will see the reflector. Nice sharp look for the horizontal feel. And then like up front, the Fox Honeycomb grill on the side, a little extra styling there. But yeah, the sensors are stowed underneath there as well with that. So it makes it for a seamless design. And then you guys will see the rear diffuser done and what you see is the aluminum here, but it goes up to the top, and then you see the black plastic underneath. Good for scratch proof, anything kind of rock chips or anything like that. You won't have to worry about replacing paint. Put it all together, and it's a pretty chill, pretty simple, again, sporty, kind of luxurious look. And when it comes to performance, under the hood, we're rocking a seven speed dual clutch automatic with a front engine that's set up with a turbocharged and intercooled 16 valve inline four setup, an iron block and aluminum head and direct fuel injection. So we're looking at a power of 201 horses with torque at 221 pound feet. That's gonna give you a zero to 60 in six seconds flat with a quarter mile time at 14.6 seconds and 95 miles per hour, a 100 mile per hour time at 16.1 seconds, and a top speed which is limited at 127 miles per hour. Now 
Now with this inline four, you're looking at 30, 27, 34. So 30 combined city and highway, 27 for the city, and 34 for the highway. Regular fuel can go in this model. Now cargo space is gonna give us around eight to 11 cubic feet of space with 88 cubic feet of space when it comes to passenger space. Now I'm gonna move my backpack out of the way so you guys can see this clearly, cause you can see we're on a good look when it comes to the deep truck and you will see the 20 40 20 split or 40 20 40 split when it comes to the seating uh folds and you can also see that we do have 12 volt here extra storage pocket which we're using here which hey that's a nice way to look at it and then fall four here you will see that's where our spare tire is and you can put a couple extra other things down here in these pockets and along you can see like the kind of indentions all the way around so Plenty of space back here for your daily needs in the A3. Now, of course, I gotta show you guys the lighting in the whole setup, as promised, with the LED light controls there. You guys can see how they all look illuminated. As you guys will see, the switchback LED for the amber to bright white. I mean, that looks beautiful. Very, very good setup for the lighting unit there. And then we have a small amber turn signal right there in the mirror cap. And then in the rear, we have our LED tails with the fog lamp right there illuminated. And then the sequential tails in the rear to give it an even better look, a very Audi feel when it comes to lighting controls. Really love that look. Before we hop in, let's check out the key fob because as you guys can see, on the rear, we have our panic button and our physical key button to actually open up this key fob to pull out physical keys just in case the key fob battery dies. But then we do have our lock button up top, our uh, trunk release in the middle, and then our unlock button with the Audi rings, keeping it pretty chill. Inside, we talked about that parchment beige and we're gonna see it right now. Cause as you guys can see, it is exactly how you would think it would look. But it also has this gray insert going all around the seat. And it looks really cool with that setup. I'm glad they didn't keep it complete parchment beige and we had some breakage in the color and you'll see that in the sticker breakdown in just a moment. You will see that big sunroof there letting in a lot of natural light here in Florida. And then for the rest of the spec, you will see black and aluminum with some ash wood trim, which we will see in the sticker breakdown as well. But on the door cards here, doesn't tell us the full story because the ash wood isn't necessarily in the door card, but you will see the hard touch plastic, soft touches in the center. You will see that beige parchment with the armrest, the stitching here, and the memory set inside with the aluminum trim on the door handle and where the ambient lighting ring right there is, or not ring, but you know, insert there is. And then you'll see the unlock and lock with the truck release there, mirror controls, and the window controls there with the Bang & Olsen sound system. We have the speaker right up front here. We have it all throughout the car, but you'll see it most prominently right there. Side still done in aluminum, which is covered up in blue. A3 floor mats, as you guys will see in the sticker breakdown, and then our pedals down there with our seat adjustments right there on the side. Now, let's hop inside of this thing, get it started up, and then we'll talk about what's inside of this thing. So foot on the brake and then start stop button here and gloss with the aluminum. Now we are to life. Now with this 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster and this 10.1 inch touchscreen, well, we're really moving when it comes to technology inside of the A3. Now, as you guys can see, steering wheel all wrapped around in that leather feel with our menu controls over here and then our hands-free radio controls here, not hands-free radio controls, hands-free voice controls here with our radio controls right there. And with that, power shifters, as you guys can see, mounted to the steering wheel. We also have our steering wheel stocks with our lighting controls here also. You also have the lane keep if you press that in. And then on this side, you have the windshield wipe, uh, wipers and nozzles there. And then you have your driver assistance right here as well. Now, this is a telescopic steering wheel, so I pull this lever and I can move it up back in just like that all right so just in case you want to get it exactly to where you want it now on this side you will see we do have physical buttons for some of our lighting controls all right like our headlights there fog lamps as well and then you will also see extra storage just in case you want to put your license registration insurance stuff like that there you also have the soft touches on the top with the stitching as well that ash wood trim for the wood right there in the center above the glove box Aluminum match with it and aluminum going all the way across. And then you also have the glove box here. Plenty of space, pretty deep glove box as well. 
close that up. Then you have underneath our 10.1 inch touchscreen, our climate controls, dual zone. You can see we have heated seats here as well. You also see that LCD screen to help control everything with the actual buttons you will use are right here. Then you also have your drive select mode, which puts you from comfort, auto, dynamic, or individual. You also have your traction off button. You also have your start stop off, your hazards there, and also your parking for your back, uh, backup camera in there, your parking cameras there, and then your parking assist right here if you press that. Now, you also have USB 2.0s, sorry, USB C's plugins right there. So then you can actually set your phone right here and that will actually charge it on the wireless charging pad. But if you want to charge it via cable, USB C right there. Radio control here, which is nice because you can do a little swipe and you see it turned up the radio. I want to turn it down, so I did it that way, no copyright. We saw a start stop button, and then we have our drive mode selector here. So park right there, drive, reverse, neutral. That's how you do it, just that quickly, all right? Gloss black surround with that with the aluminum trim right here in the center. Then you can see I'm using this cup holder here with my empty uh, bottle there. Electric, electric parking brake right here, 12 volt plug-in. And then above the little storage space here, we do have an armrest here and that parchment beige. Open that up and you will just see some extra storage right there. Now, keep in mind, up top we do have our SOS button. We have our button for our sunroof. We can control that, open that up as well. Let in some more natural light, unobstruct it. All right, we also have with that, our whole visor set up with the light and the mirror there as well. Now, let's get out of this because we know this system very well, the MMI system, and I never normally go too deep into this because it's been there for forever, but it's nice because this touchscreen is a haptic touchscreen. I like to press through it just to show you guys how well it works and just how intuitive it is when it comes to the whole setup. Now, my radio came back on on accident, so I'm just gonna turn that off. Or, yeah, I turned it off. I was gonna say I was gonna mute it, but I just turned it off. Um, so you have that there as well, and then this the digital instrument panel as well it is what you want when it comes to overall customization as well now just a couple of quick controls when it comes to the digital instrument panel we do have view here which is going to allow us and i'm sorry about the reflection it's pretty bad so i've been trying to do it at an angle but it's going to allow us to change through the views here on what we have so you guys can see the different menu setups we can see we can change different information in between here as well so you see I went to like radio, my navigation, put it all in here. Really cool to be able to go all through this with these the easy press of a button and you can just see how it changes there. So again, it's easy, intuitive. I mean, look at now I have the navigation on this side, but I still have the tack with my speed controls and everything here. So again, tons of different ways to set all of that up when it comes to the whole setup of the additional instrument panel. And for a 10.25 inch, well, you have plenty a viewable when it comes to this whole setup and when it comes to the rear you still get that parchment beige interior and it is just as good in the rear as it is up front so we should check in first let's check out that parchment beige as you guys can see with the black stitching to go with it and we have the floor mats to help protect us hop inside you will see there is plenty of space in the back of the A3. Again, I said 83, or sorry, 88 cubic feet of space when it comes to passenger volume. You can definitely see it here. We do have a cargo net here for stowage. You have a beautiful armrest, which my hand is on right now. And obviously we got the cup holder there. And then we have USB-C plugins here with our HVAC vents, two HVAC vents here, USB-C plugins for your phones. And then you will see right here on the door paneling, we have our hard touches for the plastic there, but we do have our aluminum door handle to go along with it, with the interior lighting bar there, as you guys will see. And then we also have our parchment beige when it comes to our armrest and the actual handle of the door, not the door open handle, but the door closing handle, the grippy. And then you will also see that we have our Bang & Austin sound system speaker right here as well. It's not a bad place to be. This is a lot of good space, a lot of good comfort. These seats are great, tons of headroom. And I mean, not much else to say about the rear seat of the A3. Now let's break down the 2024 Audi A3 40 TFS side Quattro because we start life at $37,800. But after our options and 1095 destination, we're looking at a total price 
of $45,570 even. So how do we get there? Well, we do have a Glacier white metallic paint at $595. Now our parchment beige interior is included in the price, but we do have a premium plus package at $3,600, which gives us adaptive cruise, which assist and lane guidance, the gray fine grain birch wood inlays, we also have the Audi Advanced Key, the Audi Side Assist with Rear Cross Traffic Assist, the Audi Dimming Interior Mirrors with Compass and Home Link, Audi Dimming Power Folding Exterior Mirrors with Memory. We also have LED Interior Lighting Plus Package and Memory for the Driver's Seat with Parking System Plus with Park Assist and the Sirius 3-Month Trial for the Radio with Wireless Phone Charging Pad. Now, we also have an extra $2,000 for our Technology Pack, which gives us Audi Connect Nav and Plus, which is a six month trial. You also have Audi MMI Navigation Plus and Audi Virtual Cockpit, which is a 12.3 inch screen. Then you have Bing and Olsen Sound System with 3D Sound as well and Traffic Sound Recognition. Now we also get Audi Beam Rings at $295 and the Audi Guard All Weather Mats at $185. So those are our additional options for the A3. And then we have everything standard when it comes to technical equipment, comfort and technology, safety and convenience in our warranty at four years fifty thousand miles whichever comes first 12 years limited warranty against corrosion and four years roadside as well if you want to check out all these options so i don't bore you out and have to read them all down for you guys make sure you guys pause zoom in screenshot or go check out the link in the description so you guys can get the full listing and everything you need to know about this a340 tfsi quattro so after options and destination charge at forty five thousand dollars this is a great spec for the a3 sedan for 2024 but i want to know what you guys think down in the comments below are you feeling the spec for the price point now with that said if you guys did enjoy the video today make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys check the links in the description for audi lakeland's website their phone number give them a call check out the inventory make sure you guys get one of these beautiful cars into your, your driveway today now with that said make sure you guys also subscribe to the channel but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video and we will see you guys in the next one peace